bien we start with daily chart you want to see how we can look for trade the first things as we can see we have a correction here and we can put this correction relative to this that's mean if we get one more drop we can expect the price drop to 372 if there is a breakout of the 372 the next level we're looking for is 335 that's mean if the price drop to this zone any reversal from there it can give us better opportunity to look for buy but whether the price is going to drop or not we cannot confirm with that because we get this down move with most of the charts. I mean, we get for in the crypto market for most of the charts, all right? But as I mentioned, technically, we can expect to get one more drop. Then this is the best option we can look for next trade. But from now, if we get any opportunity for buy within this correction, we will take it and we start to manage in case the, the price reverse from here without giving us one more drop. As I mentioned, most of the charts, they have a similar movement. And in this case, if we move to forward chart, technically right now we can put the, this one as a one, two, three, as a three way flat, and we get one more drop, and we can expect to get one more up similar to what we get here. If I move to forward chart, uh, one hour chart, it will be more clear. All right. That's mean based on one, one hour chart, we can put this one as a three waves in relative to this two, and this is what we get in relative to this. We can expect to get one move up similar to what we get here because the most difficult part is because of this sharp move down how to put this one in relative to this correction that's why we need to be quite careful as i explained based on the daily chart we can expect to get one more drop but since we get this reversal it's quite sharp following by this if we get any buy within the from here we will take it and the first target is 425.5 we, and if there is a breakout of the first target, then the second target is four, three, two. We want to see whether the price can break this soon. And then that's mean retest the previous top, which is somewhere around 440 or not. Okay. And if we want to look for buy from here, the best option to put our entry above the top, which is 420. And what we want is the continuation as a sharp move. And since the price tag 24, uh, sorry, 425.5. This is where at least if we can move our sub loss to break even, at least we start to manage because this short term trade. That's why we want, if we want to look for buy, we want to see whether the price can break this one, this zone or not. And the reason is we want to put our entry above the top. If the price is start to drop, at least we are not in the trade. Buying right now is not a really good trade. I mean, it's not a really good uh, way. That's why we prefer to put our entry above the top. We try to use this strategy. And if all, by having entry above the top, you want the price sharply break and continue. If the price tag is not moving within the first or maximum second hours, you take out the trade because we are not going to keep the trade if it's not moving in our direction. That's mean we are not going to keep the trade more than two hours. Anyway, we just follow the chart. And if I see any update, I will share. And I need to highlight if the price continues as a corrective move, also we take out the trade. We are looking for continuation as a sharp move. What I mean by sharp move, similar to what we have here, just as an example. Anyway, we just follow the chart and if I see any update, I will share. Thanks.